Hello again, everybody. I'm Nasty Mold, and we have kind of a surprise beta update in that I didn't expect one this early. But as you can see in our home space, it is getting ready for the winter updates. Yay! There's nothing on it quite yet, but we do have this interesting white candle. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by this. It looks cool. It does remind me of early on in the game when um, the seasonal candles were different color for the season they were in. That was really neat. So we have this mystery candle, and then if we go over here into Grandma's Igloo, there is nothing at all. I mean, there's a sinister fireplace, but otherwise, not much going on in here. A little creepy. So for this update, the Aviary Village has changed a bit, and I believe we have our next quest, and I will be doing that. But before I do that, we have some new things in the shop, and they are so cool. Um, so bear in mind, of course, these are likely not going to be free. They're probably paid packs, but we have the Moth Pack and the Sparrow Pack. Now, my guess is that these packs are going to be for PC players. I could be wrong, of course. These could just be for everyone, just bonus packs to have. But how cute is that? So I'm sure all of us know, but Moth is a very endearing term we use for new players in Sky. But Sparrow is the term that the Japanese community uses for their moths. So that's pretty cute. We have a moth pack for the more English-speaking players and Sparrow for the Japanese. An elevated take on a beloved term for new adventurers. Let's check out the moth pack. Unfortunately, I don't know how much this will be at the moment. Oh my gosh. Wait. This has been probably one of the most wanted capes ever in this game. I always see people doing moth capes. How cute! Oh my gosh. Oh, and the antenna! The antenna are see-through a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. I have to do a moth outfit. <laughs> Look at it! So adorable. This cape is really cute. I am obsessed with the antenna, though. They're adorable. I love that it's fluffy around the neck. And let's check out the Sparrow Pack, fashioned after an endearing term for those who recently entered the wor wor realm of Sky, not World of Sky. I can read, I promise. Whoa! Oh my goodness, that cape! <gasps> Hang on. All right, let me dress up in just the uh, Sparrow outfit, and I'll get rid of these notifications really quick. Okay, so this is the Sparrow outfit. It comes with this mask with these little dark marks under the cheeks. And this cape is incredible! Holy! The tuft on the chest, the shape of the wings, <gasps> the back! Oh my gosh, this is going to be such a good cape for people who really, really want the Season of Dreams ultimate cape. Such a good dupe for it. And the inside looks like it's white. Oh, wow. Holy, I am so happy about that. It flies so pretty! Oh my gosh, I think this might be my favorite cape. Wow, I love it. Man, both packs have something I'm really excited about. The cape for this one and the antenna for the other pack. <laughs> it's so pretty. I guess I should fly with the moth cape as well. But I am really interested in that white lining inside and the texture of the cape. Gorgeous. There were also some more additions to the hairstyles in the game, and I think these are meant to be base game hairstyles so moths can kind of, you know, have a little bit more style. So we have the moth hairstyle there. We have this one that looks kind of like uh, afro style hair. A little bit textured. Let me put it on. Oh, that's so cute. We don't really have any like smaller afro style hairstyles, so that one's cool. And this one's really adorable. It's kind of giving me... Uh, Days of Bloom hair a little bit. But if this is easily accessible and added to like the roster of the base game hairstyles, that's just awesome. I'm happy about that. For some reason, I don't see the moth um, ponytail style. Where is it? Do they remove? Oh no, it's right there. It's just moved. Hello. But that is so awesome. I love that they've added some more hairstyles into the base game because... You know, the game's about expressing yourself. You might as well find a hairstyle that you would readily wear, especially when you start the game. And then I noticed the uh, hopeful steward's hairstyle is here now. Without all of the added rainbow strands. 
So I'm wondering if we can get this by doing some of the um, Season of Revival quests. If it'll be a quest giver item, I hope it will be. Um, yeah. Really, really cute update. I love all this stuff. And right after this video, I'm going to go do the Season of Revival 5th quest. And check things out that way, so we'll see the changes there. Let me really quickly see if there's any more stuff. Oh, these antenna are so cute. I'm not seeing any there. For the capes, I know we have these new ones. Are there any other ones? I keep thinking they'll add a tier 2 brown cape, but maybe not. The moth cape is very cute. I do have to say the sparrow just takes it for me. That one's perfect. And this is what the moth cape looks like flying. I know I said I would do that. Wee! I'm just a little bug. Just looking for my light. Really, both of these are amazing. But I love different aspects of each one. For the moth pack, I really love these antenna and how they bounce. For the sparrow pack, that cape. Woo! There's no unique charging pattern on this either. What a cool pack. I wonder if it's going to be PC exclusive or if it's just something that's going to be added to the shop. I'm really excited to find out. All right, that is it for this video, but look at how cool the Season of Dreams mask looks with this cape. They're made for each other. They're beautiful. Um, so I am in the next video going to check out the Aviary Village. I have seen there are a few changes there, so tune in in probably about half an hour if you want to see that. And yeah, thank you all so much for joining. As soon as we have more information on these packs, I will be sure to let you all know. They're very exciting. I'm really happy about them. Okay, bye guys. See you in the next video.